Hey guys, welcome to the next Brow Edit tutorial. In this particular tutorial, we'll be covering how to actually add your own custom textures and using those textures in any Brow Edit map that you want to make. So the first thing we need to do is, okay, let's find a custom texture we would like to use. So I'm going to go and open up my Mozilla Fox Fire. Okay, so now that I'm in Mozilla Firefox, let's search for something that we might like to use. So because I'm a Mozilla user, why not let's use the Mozilla, uh, Mozilla Firefox icon. So we're going to search for this very important, a 256 by 256 resolution picture file. All right, you can go to 512 if you want, but uh, anything greater than that, I wouldn't re recommend. Just stay within the 256 by 256 pixels or 512 by 512. So let's find something we, we might want to use. So why not use this one? So let's just save that on our desktop. So I just click that. File, save, image. Okay, so I just saved that on my desktop. Now let's go find where exactly where that. All right, so there's there's my custom texture right here. So it's in JPEG format. Now it's very important to follow specific parameters when you actually use a custom texture, and I'll show you those parameters right now. So this is these are the three basic parameters that you need to use always. First of all, the custom texture must be in a BMP format. It must utilize any of these resolutions. You can go to 1024 by 1024, but really that's not really needed. You can stay within these limits and your map will look just fine. As most, or I think basically all maps are based on these two parameters right here. Another very important part is the, de the bit depth rate. In this case, it's 24 bits or, or 71 PPPs, meaning that's the quality of the image that we're going to be dealing with, which Brow Edit reads, as well as what Gravity uh, Maps read as well. So let me just close that. So now that we have that, let's actually get our custom texture in the correct format and get it into Brow Edit. So the first thing we do is just let's open this up with MS Paint. So as you can see, here's MS Paint, very simple. And all we really need to do, just put that there, and all we really need to do is to just resave this as a BMP object. So I'm going to go to Mozilla, as you can see the name is right there, and we're going to select 24-bit. Bit bitmap BMP. Just hit that and just hit save. Now I'm going to get it already replaced because I already have it ready. That's okay. And then just close the Miss Paint. And now you should see another, an additional file the Mozilla bitmap image. And if you right click that, go to its properties, details, you should see that now the bit, the bit depth is 24 bits, which is probably the most important part, as well as the resolution. We're good to go. So now we're ready to get this into Brow Edit. So how do we do that? Very simple. Create any folder, whether it be on your desktop or in your a custom textures folder, I just called it, just call it data. So just create a new folder, we'll call that data. Create another folder in the data folder called texture. All right. Now, this is the next part. This is going to be where we're going to store our texture in a specific directory, which Brad it will, will recognize as. So um, you can call this the Mozilla directory for all any images or any custom textures that deal with Mozilla Firefox or you can make another folder in here and we can call this um, grass grass and that could be any custom grass textures we wish to put in there it doesn't matter okay but in this case I just made a single directory we're gonna call that Mozilla so that's where we're gonna store our custom textures in which it's gonna be read by route edit and there it is that's just the bitmap file that I dropped right in that's the BMP edited file that we resaved with MS paint and that's it so our data directly uh, directory is ready to go. The next step is to get this directory into a GRF format so that now we can brow edit to read that GRF file. So how do we do that? Okay, this is what we do. I use a small little program called Griff S. All right, I'll provide a link for this. It's very useful. I use this to build all my GRF files. I just find it pretty user friendly and whatnot, and I'll just show that how it works. So the moment you start it up, you'll see Griff 1.1 SVN. There's probably a later version of this, but honestly, this is just as good. So the first thing we need to do is to actually get our data folder inside. So we got to add our data folder. So to do this, just go to Edit, Add Directory. Find the directory that we need to go to. In this case, it was in my custom texture directory. Hit that, and then hit OK. And after that, it would say, would you like to, would you like to use conversion? Don't worry about it. Just hit Yes. It's fine. And now the path, the path should be data texture Mozilla which we made and then our actual custom texture file and that's good now all we gotta do is just right click untitled save as and then call it any name you wish I'm gonna call mine custom T 
and hit yes. It's just giving me this this messaging because I already made the GRF already, so that's okay. Close that and close that. So now you can see the custom GRF. It's all ready to go. So now it's just a matter of getting this integrated in Red by Brow Edit, as well as adding the custom texture to the Brow Edit uh, custom textures.txt, which I'll show you in a bit. So the first thing you need to do is to actually open up the Brow Edit installation directory. I have it on my desktop, so I'm just going to open that up. So here's my Brow Edit. Then go to Data. Then go to Configs. Right-click row.xml because that's that's what, uh, that's your XML file we're going to be editing. Go to Edit, and now we're actually going to add our pathway to our GRF. So this is my pathway. It's going to be different for you, of course, but this is what it is. Just add that right here. That's all I need to do. So make sure your pathway is correct, and then and then just close it. Just to save the file, save the text document, and close it. All right. So technically, Brow Edit can read the GRF, but there's no way to link how to get the user or the mapper to get to that texture file when they're actually map editing. So to do that, go go back to your Brow Edit folder, their installation directory. Go to Data, and find the find the text document called uh, Texture uh, Textures Custom right here, and then open that. Right. All right. So you can see that I already have a bunch of custom textures based on Aries. Um, uh, I guess her her, te her texture builds, and I just grabbed that. But uh, I also have I already also added the Mozilla custom texture as well, and I'll show you how the pathway works. The first thing you do is localize. Okay, when I open up Brow Edit, where is the fo what is the folder going to be under? And it, and this is really what it's getting. To. All right, so here just a good example of why I call it custom. So if you look at the first parameter, I you could see here custom, right? And that custom lines up perfectly with our first parameter. Mozilla, this is where Brow Edit is going to store the category of our texture, our custom texture. And if you look under Brow Edit again, you'll see Mozilla right there, which is exactly what's recorded in our pathway, followed by the actual name of the custom texture, which is Mozilla.bmp. You could see it clearly right there. Next, we have OK. So that, that was that was the first half, which is all based on Brow Edit and um, and the where it's going to store the location of the of the actual texture. The next part is reading from the GRF. So the, G the first thing we have to talk about, the very first piece is Mozilla. That's our, our data fo our folder that we called that's after the texture. So, no so you know how we had data, textures, and then Mozilla, which is our folder? You need to put that folder in there and then followed by the texture that's inside the folder, which is Mozilla.bmp. And if you wanted to add another texture in the same folder, it could be different, and it's the exact same pathway. Just copy the pathway like this, and just call it Mozilla 2, or whatever else the, the name of the texture is. Let's say we call it Google, and this also needs to change as well to the to the actual name of your texture. So Google here and Google there. All right, and then make sure that's correct, and then just save that and close it. Keep in mind that please do not put any um, any other piece of code in there besides the texture pathways. I figured that uh, it actually did crash Brow Edit when I had those slash slash and Aries, you know, custom texture path that actually crashed Brow Edit, so I had to get rid of that. All right, so once you do all of that, start up Brow Edit, you should see your texture in ex the exact path that we put it. And if you just click that, go to Texture Edit, you'll find it right on the side here. All right, so there's a texture, there's our custom texture. We can paste this in our map, just like that. You could apply what lighting to it, whatever you want. Save the map. Just make sure that you distrib you distribute your GRF with the uh, map files accordingly to your server, so that everybody else doesn't see, you know, doesn't get them, doesn't miss that texture. And that's how you add custom textures to Brow it. All right, guys. Thank you very much, and best of luck with all your mapping, uh, with your mapping things. All right.